Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning La La Land, redesigning fashion and music. Radmila Lali is with us today. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Good morning. That outfit is amazing. No, you guys look fabulous. Uh, Well, we know you were going to come. So we had a Uh. love laugh. (laughs) Radmila, I I just love how extravagant and dramatic dramatic. your designs are. Yes. What inspired this look? Um, Honestly, I'm a musician also. And... um, Music inspires my uh, clothing because mm-hmm. originally um, I'm an opera singer, so I would design my costumes, my dresses for my performances. So whatever the music inspires me, I can just start seeing flashes and I just start sketching around it. And yeah, it's like, to me, it's just art, you know. It's, when yeah. did you discover your love and your ability to be an opera singer? I played piano as a oh. kid and then um, I just kind of a wild, kind of big voice, and then didn't know what to do with it. And then my teacher said, you can be a, a strong opera singer, but we need training. And I go, okay. Yeah. So wow. training, yes. Wow. And when did you incorporate then the fashion? Fashion started, um, I would say, uh, when I was um, 33. So I was 18, so 15 years ago. And what was that moment where you thought, okay, this is beyond costumes. I'm going to create a line. Oh, um, it's about six years ago. And I said, what about I do a show with models wearing my creations and released me performing and models walking at the same time in my creations. How would people react to it? Because for years, people would always ask me, who's the designer? And I, I never would really say it because I didn't want for people to confuse it. She's a singer, she's a mm-hmm. designer. You know how people kind of don't like to... Yeah, they prefer, yeah. Pigeonhole. Yeah. they prefer yeah. to pigeonhole. So, and at some point, I, I go, you know what? It could be a business, real business. I said, it's actually me for the old... They're like, oh. Can we order this? And I'm like, sure, we'll call it. <laughs> yeah. And then I have a, I'm produced everything in New York City. So, but my background when it comes to fashion, also my grandmother was a seamstress, and my mom, my mom is an artist. So growing up, I would paint, and I knew that um, I actually thought I would be an artist. So I, that's how I know how to sketch. And uh, you know, one thing is you can have a vision, but then you don't know how to really explain it. So it's I'm very um, happy that my uh, mom teach me how to be able to sketch and have that scale so I can mm. translate it yeah. into actual reality. You're like a true, true artist. Oh, yeah. Thank true, you. True artist. So is there particular times of the day or particular you know, places where you get the most inspired where it really comes through? No, it's a, I, I guess I can see this flower and then all of a sudden I can see the color of it and it can inspire me into a dress. All of a sudden I see mm-hmm. it. Yeah. yeah. What's yeah. the key to making money as an artist? Because I think we're mm. a city here full of artists right. and creative types and they all want to make money doing what they love. It's um, it's a challenge, um, especially the music I do. It's, um, I would say, entrancing opera. So I do a lot of movie soundtracks, and that's placings can give you pay, you know, as a musician, as a as a designer, so dresses. Yeah. So and I have a lot of custom, uh, a lot of my clients like custom pieces. They don't want to wear something on the red carpet. Somebody else might have it. Mm-hmm. So that's like my niche, I would say. Who would you say though is kind of uh, the woman who would wear your designs? Well, I've dressed Gail for? King. Uh, yeah. I've dressed, uh, I would say my age group, it's various. I've dressed 18 to 70 plus. But yeah. these women, how do you want them to feel? feel they're looking to feel what because i know how i felt the moment i got to wear one of your designs on the red carpet i really felt regal i felt royal oh, i felt empowered that's exactly what i want for my ladies mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah yes mission accomplished Mission <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah i mean everything i don't know if you can see on the camera your lipstick is amazing too oh, i mean everything you. is like done to the t oh really mm-hmm. thank you well, you I can like really you. empower though and inspire people through not only music but the fashion style your self-expression oh. speaks volumes Thank it you. really does. What do you want your overall message to be? What is the legacy you're creating? I uh, believe life is short, so why not make it beautiful and colorful and memorable? Mm-hmm. Mm. Nice. Beautifully said. Sounds Absolutely. Like beautiful. <laughs> so what's yeah. next for you? Um, I'm actually here in Los Angeles recording my new 19th Symphony album. I'm a composer uh, of it, so I'm here to record it and then release it. Um, here in Los Angeles. Wow, and congratulations. Mm-hmm. Please tell everyone where they can get your music and your designs, follow your journey. My Instagram is Radmila Lally, R-A-D-M-I-L-A-L-O-L-L-Y. <laughs> and then my website, Radmila slash Lally.com. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. We are Good Morning La La Land, America's first live streaming daily talk show coming to you live Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. 
All of today's interviews are available as a podcast on iTunes, and the whole show is streaming on Apple TV and Roku via the EverTalk app. That's right. We're waking up the world together, you guys. Have a wonderful Wealth Wednesday. Please like, share, subscribe, all the above to the extraordinary guests here. Have a beautiful, divine day. And stop and smell the roses. Yes. It's going to be a good morning, La La Land.